what is intermediate tooling? If you're running machine sim without the machine, you will see your stick tools and the inserts and your drills and other tools. When you go into machine sim and turn your machine on, you will now see those stick tools inside of the intermediate tooling holders for those machines. Let's see what it looks like when it's running. So for the ultimate in realism and the ultimate in planning your process before you even send it out to the floor, you can plan your process very quickly inside of a virtual environment such as Gibbscam so that when it gets to the floor you know exactly which tool goes in which holder in which station of the turret. So let's first look at how to implement a chuck in intermediate tooling. First we're going to take the chuck away. We're going to go to document control, intermediate tooling, fixture, and I'm going to remove the main spindle chuck. If we go back to machine sim and press rewind, you will now see that the chuck is gone and the stock is just hanging out there in space. To plan our process effectively, we really should have the chuck out there in space. So let's see how we add the chuck. Intermediate tooling, fixture, double click main spindle, and you will see a list of items that are available. We have a sub collet chuck and a main collet chuck. We simply press OK and rewind and our chuck is magically back where it belongs on the machine. And we can again simulate and collision check between the machine components, the tool holders, and the chuck. So let's stop for just a minute and let's look at some of the tool holders. Let's look at the right angle tool holder that drills the holes in the front face of the part. And we can see here by the operations list, it is tool number four in op five. I can right click and open tool. Let's see how intermediate tooling works with this particular tool. I'm going to remove this tool block and look we point the tool always south because the intermediate tooling holder will point it in the direction that it needs to go. This button is called this tool setup data button. We go into tool setup data, we select add tool block and then we see a list of tool blocks that are available for this machine. This machine has turret 1 tooling and some turret 2 tooling. So let's look at turret 1, ER, RA, right angle, live tool holder. There's the holder. I press OK. It shows in the holder. And then I can even press preview tool group and I can look at the turret and see that everything looks OK. Of course, the tool that is highlighted is the one that you will show highlighted in the turret. We can check our turret loadout before it gets out to the floor so that we send them a good picture of what they need to set the machine up with. Thank you.